Ben's in Colorado. Merry Christmas, Ben. How can I help? Merry Christmas, Dave. Thanks for taking my call. Sure. What's up? So I have just a little bit of student loan debt, and then I'll have the debt from the house, and that'll be it. And so my question was, after I get rid of this student loan debt, I'm, I'm kind of nervous about just shoveling big piles of money on my mortgage and being miserable for the next, you know, nine years until I'm 35. Was not planning on you being miserable. Um, the uh, the okay. gazelle intensity stops after you're debt free, except your home, and have your emergency fund in place. You do need to run like your hair's on fire until you get those done, okay? Because you're really okay. you're really living at the edge of a major financial catastrophe if you don't have an emergency fund and you still have a pile of debt. But when the student loans are gone and you got your emergency fund in place, that's what we call baby steps one, two, and three. Have you heard me talk about that? Yeah, so I've been watching you for about a week, and I have uh, okay. eighteen thousand dollars in an emergency fund, and I have thirty grand worth of student debt that I can get paid off in the next year. Okay. Well, what we teach is baby step one's a thousand dollars, and any money that you have above that should go towards your debts, except your home. Baby step two is you list your debts smallest to largest. Sounds like you've got seventeen thousand that you would throw at the thirty if you're following our plan. And then you would be debt free very quickly. How how much do you make a year? What's your household income? I make eighty one thousand. Okay, and making eighty one thousand, paying off the remaining thirteen thousand should be oh a matter of six months max, probably four months, and then you rebuild your emergency fund to three to six months of expenses. That's baby step three. Now once you've done that, then you let your foot off the gas. So by this time next year. You should be letting your foot off the gas and have a fully funded emergency fund with no payments but a house payment. Now, by letting the foot off the gas, I don't mean you start spending like you're in Congress again. I mean you live intentionally, you have a written plan, but you're doing things on purpose. And baby steps four, five, and six are 15% of your income goes to retirement. This is the stage where if you need to upgrade your car, want to go on vacation, upgrade your couch, whatever it is, you save up, pay cash for that, in addition to the 15% going into investments. If you have kids, baby step five is saving for their college, and six is paying off the house. Now, people working that plan, in other words, when you get to baby step four, you're in more of a rhythm, you're in less of a sprint. Is that logical to you? Yeah, okay. Okay, once you're there, people working that plan are paying off their home. For the last 30 years, I've been doing this in somewhere around seven years. And the, uh, the largest okay. study of millionaires ever done in North America, we did. We completed it about a year ago, a year and a half ago. Chris Hogan put it in a book called Everyday Millionaires. And one of the key data points that we found uh, as we're studying the millionaires is the typical millionaire pays off their home in 10.2 years. And so okay. it's, it becomes an essential part of your overall net worth and you have no payments anywhere, wow, now you're in a position to really start building some wealth and be outrageously generous. And so that's where we coined the phrase, live like no one else, so later you can live and give like no one else. 